couch Dogs need adolescents Hey there, Lincoln Riffers, welcome to another edition of Guitar Trick of the Week. This time we're going to learn a nice little country lick that you can loop around, and I also added a little finisher to it so you can finish it whenever you want instead of having to loop it around forever, or finish it awkwardly. So it goes like this. <laughs> It actually uh, merges three different licks, and the first one being this. Okay, you bar the third fret on strings one, two, and three, and you hammer on three to four on the third string, and then play the second string. Okay, so you play that. Let's count it: one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth time, you add the, s the first string to it. Okay, so it's... Right? Now, you can do it with a pick. I do it with my fingers because I'm a finger picker. So, again, one, two, three, four, five, first string. Okay? And then you do kind of the same lick on the first and second strings. You hammer on three, two, five on the second string and then play the first string. Okay, four times. And then you play this. Okay, six, five, three on the second string, double pull off six, pull off to five, pull off to three using your pinky, third finger, first finger. And then five on the D string. So you have the first lick, first string, and then the second lick, third lick, right? And that's the loop. You can loop it around as many times as you like. Also end it with the hammer on to four on the third string but if you want to finish it like I did you can use this lick instead of playing this instead of five on the D string play the open D string and that buys you time to get your first finger from the second string to the D string on three and then you hammer on from three to five on the D string play the open second string then you hammer on from three to four on the third string and you play the first string open. Okay, so you have this. Got it? Hammer on open string. Hammer on open string. And then this. This is a pull off from three to zero on the second string and then five on the third string. Then the open E string. Then the hammer on from three to four on the third string again, and then five on the D string. Now this is a lick in and of itself. Okay? So you can use that in your soloing as well, or just take bits and pieces out of it and use those. Um, but I finished it like this. Okay, I added a G triad there. Three on the E string and four on the G string. And this creates the G chord harmony. And this is all in G. So... Okay, again, it's three different licks put together. And if you want to be extra sophisticated, when you do this, play six instead of five, and then you get the blue note there. Okay, and that gives it a bit more bluesy sound. Okay? It sounds off when you isolate it, but together it sounds nice. Okay? So you can also loop that around and alternate between five and six on the third string. Okay? 
as an exercise. So before you go practice this, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. There's a ton of lessons waiting for you, arrangements, licks, exercises, whatnot. Everything's for free on Lick and Riff. Go to the website, download the tab. The link is right below in the description. That's free as well. But if you want to give something back to Lick and Riff, there's a large blue donation button right above the tabs. You can't miss it. It's a large blue donation button. Um, and everything goes right back into Lick and Riff, into making these lessons, working on them, filming them, editing them, uploading them. It all takes time and work. And if you want to give something and help with the effort, I'd be more than grateful for your help. You go practice this, have fun with this, and I'll see you in the next lesson. Thank you very, very much for watching. Bye for now.